Hello everybody and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video where we are creating an exhibit for the brown throated sloth and I started with this structure um, kind of like a bamboo I really wanted like a tropical bamboo feel to this habitat well it's not a habitat it's an enclosure in it but we end up making it look like a habitat anyway um, yeah sloths we've got sloths in the game brilliant I absolutely love these animals and just a disclaimer here you will see when I'm on the speed build segments like this and the camera's not still there's a little bit of motion blur there was a problem with the recording it kind of like corrupted and i had to go through a whole rigmarole of trying to get it sorted for you um obviously i've got it sorted but it does go blurry at some points i've sorted the problem i know what it was so next video it will not do it but yeah the brown throated sloth this is the second animal i am building for in um, planet zoo with the new tropical pack the first animal was the lagibon and now we've got the sloths and you can see me just creating so what i've done is i've put the exhibit in and i've just made everything null even the path so uh, yeah no paths thank god they're in the game now due to the new update and made the whole um the whole null exhibit itself made it see through so i can create my own um did give me some problems i'm not gonna lie because I, this is on a vertical slant this like kind of um, structure some of the things when you put the sloths in was poking out, so I had to adjust some things, but we sort it in the end, we do sort it. So you can see me doing two things here, kind of like multitasking. I'm putting the bamboo structure in, which will be the main place where our sloths will be. This is obviously a walkthrough exhibit as well. So remember guests are gonna walk through here, so we need an external building for the guests to enter. Uh, but this is kind of like an outdoor viewing area as well, so guests can actually see the guests were inside the exhibit, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, I'm creating that with mesh and bamboo and just duplicating that over now and switching it over to the other side. And I've started creating the um, the barrier, the kind of like, so I would, you know, I would sloth, if they poke the, like, claw hands through the mesh, I would guess they'll not got the hands clawed off. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm creating now. Again, adding to the realism aspect, if you've seen any of my builds before, by the way, if you're new around here, then hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new around here, if, you, if you've seen any of my builds, then I do a lot of like realism stuff. Well, not realism, I do a lot of kind of like what you would see in real life. That's realism, Adam. I'm just absolutely gibbering on now, aren't I? Right, I do a lot of realism stuff. Um, just try to make everything look like it would do in real life. Hence the term realism. I've not had enough sleep. Honestly, I've not had enough sleep since this pack's come out. Uh, but a brilliant pack. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you enjoying this pack? What habitats have you created for what animals? What's your favourite animal? Let me know. Let's get in a little discussion. And if you do want to share anything you create to me, then my Instagram and my Twitter is down below. Feel free to tag me, message me, do whatever you want. It'd be interesting to see what you are creating for the animals of the new pack as well. Um, this floor. Now... Obviously, no path, so we can create our own floors. Brilliant. I'm so happy that this has been added in the game. I've only been asking it for like two years. Um, but it's been added, and we've got like this. You see those pieces I've just put down then? That's actually kind of like bamboo wooden pathing, I would call them. And they're in the new pack as well. Just adding the foliage at the front here. You know me, foliage is king. Just add a lot of foliage and everything looks better. And then I created this wall. Now, obviously, this is not an in-game wall. This is a custom wall, which I love doing. And this is how I created it. Starting off with the new um, kind of like stone brick at the bottom. Build the inside panel of the wall first. That's what I did. So it looks good from both sides, inside and out. And then just layered the conservation um, beam pieces just like that at an angle, giving it a different texture. And there's your custom wall. Then it was a matter of putting everything in place. All the custom walls are in and the paths. Well, the base paths anyway. We're going to build an elevated path around the edge now. Main foliage is in and the main hard shelter for the animal. Well, it's not hard shelter because it's an exhibit animal. For some reason, I keep thinking the sloth is like a habitat animal, but it's not. It's an exhibit animal. It doesn't help when I build like habitat. <laughs> right, pathing. Oh, pathing, pathing, pathing. Planet Zoo, Planet Zoo, how I do struggle with your pathing system sometimes. And this time it was no different. I wanted an elevated path. You can see me just trying to fiddle around and trying to get that here. Um, I knew I could do it in my brain, but actually executing what I knew I could do was the difficult part. But I do believe we smash it out of the park. See, I'm just playing playing around with different levels, trying to make sure everything lines up here. And even, at, listen, I've got more than 3,000 hours, I think, in Planet Zoo. 
and I still struggle with the pathing system. Everybody's going to struggle with different things. So if you are struggling with something in Planet Zoo, show a bit of patience and you will get there. But that is the elevated path in. You can see I finally done it. So we've got like a ground path and an elevated path. As I said before, the main structure is complete as well. This is where our guests will go in. And we've got a separate indoor area for our sloths, even though they can't use it, so which I didn't realise. Because again, it's an exhibit animal, not a habitat animal, Adam. Um, so yeah, just building up the foliage here, just filling in the gaps now, gap filling. I love gap filling, just making sure everything looks good, making sure everything looks like it should be. And this is how it came out looking once all the gaps were filled. It was just a matter of time of putting the roofs on this building at the back here i made like a little planted area of foliage and roofs i'm going to show you now in this is in real time this is not sped up of how i did the real roofs so i placed a, pla a place placed a plaster piece down that was a tongue twister but then placed another plaster piece whilst off the grid on top of it because i wanted a thin roof not a thick roof and then i overlaid it by creating um on the grid pieces what are only a meter apart so you can see the grid has gone smaller just so they have a little overhang of the roof so I have now a plaster piece on top of an on the grid plaster piece. So all I have to do is delete the on the grid plaster pieces and I've got a thin custom roof. Now, I know that was my, if you're new to Planet Zoo, that might have been difficult to understand, but I would just, I wanted to get through that and describe what I did. And it just, look how better it looks with a thinner roof. And then I wanted to show how much detail I go in. Um, detail is king, well, foliage is king first in Planet Zoo, but detail is definitely second. Th this is just one planter, and I've, this is about 40 pieces of building pieces for one planter. And honestly, if you're willing to put the work in in Planet Zoo, your builds will look good. I promise you, if you're willing to put in the hours and hours, like this is a sloth exhibit. I don't know how many hours this took me. I would guess about eight hours to do and for a small exhibit that's quite a long time for someone who can build quite quickly like me as well that is a long time but it's because of the detail and like this honestly and this plant will look better than just adding plaster pieces or just adding on the grid walls to this planter it just it'll just look better again i've gone with the same theme you'll see in a lot of my builds same colors throughout the whole of the creation so this planter is the same colors as the walls of the main building um, just lining everything up now and that is the planter pretty much done and that's the habitat I just need to fill in the gaps now you can see me again with the details in bamboo I've got bamboo in the build why not have bamboo in these planted areas so it looks like you know what well, you see in foliage like that to keep the foliage up nice and straight and not wilt and then I added it was well it was time to go on the inside and I added these now if you've not seen these these are on my steam workshop page and they are habitat backdrop walls so these are four by four walls you can add them to any um, kind of like inside area i want to say of a habitat and it will give them more natural look this is something what you would see in an actual zoo as well you won't just have a plaster piece wall in the background you would have something what made the animal feel more comfortable and you'd have something what looks more attractive to the guest and I'm just filling in the gaps now and leading up to this hole. Now, this hole in the wall is going to be where our sloths can get in and out to the inside area. Again, it's not practical. It's not a natural habitat. It's an enclosure, so they can't get in there. But this is what you would see in real life. Again, adding to the realism aspect and making things just a little bit more different and a little bit more unique. Just finishing off that back wall now. And then it's time to go over to where the hole was, where the sloths can get in and out. Well, supposedly get in and out. And then just cover that area again with the four rocks and this lovely, I think this um, kind of like foliage wall pieces out of the aquatic pack, if you are wondering. And obviously these rocks are out the aquatic pack as well. Definitely one of my favourite packs because I use a hell of a lot of these rocks like I've just described to you. Um, just building up this area now, kind of making it look a little bit more natural like it should be there. And now we'll skip forward to what we did at the top of the building. So at the top of the building, we carried on with the mesh theme and we just closed off this area from the building to the bamboo. And we did that with mesh. Very simple, but very effective. I did think about building up with the plaster pieces and making the actual building larger and taller, but I thought, no, the mesh pieces will look better here and it will give the impression that sloths cannot escape. Again, adding to the realism. And here we are it is complete the habitat enclosure is now done you can see everything is in and everything how it should be so let's take a closer look at things that i've skipped forward and you might have missed how beautiful of a shot that is 
You can see I've added a little bit of detail in here on this wall. We've also added an entrance sign with custom writing, a little light underneath so it does light up and dark. I did, I have put lights inside it as well. So if you do want to download it off the Steam Workshop page, by the way, link in the description, you can have it at night time as well. But if you do download this, just think about how much of a pain the paths are going to be in. I, I'm, not, I'm not trying to like, you know, persuade you not to download it, but the paths are going to be a pain to put in, I'm not going to lie. And that one there is not even connected, see? There we go. Better change that though. There we go. Connected. All right, so yeah, I've put a trim all the way around the edges of the paths. Everything is in. The roof is on. I did totally make it all a green roof here. Mesh pieces to finish it off again are here. The guests can come inside through the entrance, obviously. And when they come inside, this is how they're greeted. And there we go. That's the inside of the enclosure done. The lovely back walls here, as you can see, as you as you um, watch me put in during the speed build segment. And then we've got just a load of added foliage as well. I just went to town with the foliage. And just look how good the tropical foliage looks with this path as well. I'm actually gonna get the name of this path because I wanna remember it myself. I might add it to my favorites. Indonesian bamboo panel, brilliant, I love it. I don't think it's actually made for a path, but yeah. Oh, there's some of our staff actually walking through the exhibit. Where's our sloths actually? Hello, sloths. Wait a minute. Well, oh, there's one. Hello, Mr. Sloth, having a really lazy lie down. Yeah, but that's how it came out looking. Now, if you did like it and you like the look of this habitat, then like the video. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. My name's Adam. I hope you have a brilliant day, and I will catch you in the next Planet Zoo video.